Hi traders, I'm Teets, how's it going? So we have a new patch that's coming out today. I have the translated notes from Al Chico Eevee because you know how the Japanese one can be. So we're gonna have the exact notes right here. Let's jump right into it and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified for more Pokemon Unite videos. First of all, a new Pokemon Farlings is coming soon. You can obtain its Unite license via the Farlings Kumo commemorative, I can't say words, event pass. That's so cool. So I I'm guessing this is free, right? This is a free thing? I'm gonna guess it's a free thing. Dragon Carnival Share Event. In, anticip in anticipation of the new Dragon Carnival, the Dragon Carnival Share Event begins. You can receive a Pokemon face hat if you participate in the Dragon Carnival Share Event. Dragon Carnival runs from these dates here, so from May 16th to June 12th. Oh, and this one is May 9th to May 16th. Okay, a new event where dragon type Pokemon takes center stage, the dragon carnival begins. There will be new quick battles and all sorts of events in which you can participate to obtain plenty of rewards. All right, that's really cool. So we have a bunch of new events coming with this. I really hope it's not like reused things. I hate when they reuse things. Hopefully it's a super unique event. Really pretty, we'll see. Okay, next we have, okay, the details. Changes to some of the Pokemon. Meow Scrata. The following stats have been decreased. Attack. So Meow, Meow Scrata's attack has been decreased. Mewtwo Y. The following stats have been decreased. Special attack. Mewtwo Y's teleport. The effects on the user weakened. Duration of the effect on the user decreased. Mewtwo Y Unite move. Infinite Cyburn. Damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decreased. Duration of effects on opposing Pokemon decreased. Next we have is Aldegoss. Altergast boosted attack, effects on opposing Pokemon weakened, duration of effects on opposing Pokemon decrease. Altergast Pollen Puff, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decrease. Altergast Pollen Puff Plus, damage increase, decrease, sorry, again, and the effects on the user weakened. And then Altergast's Unite move, Cotton Cloud Crash, Pokemon decrease. So, so far we've got a nerf, nerf, and a nerf. Next we have is Espeon, another nerf, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decrease. We've got a lot of nerfs. Zoroark, Night Slash, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decrease. Cooldown has been lengthened, and the HP restoration has been decreased. Dang, this is just Nerf City. Buzzwall Superpower, cooldown has been lengthened, Buzzwell's superpower plus the following effects have been adjusted for this move. Move cooldowns, smack down, effects on the user weakened. Oh my gosh, another nerf. So we have a nerf for Buzzwell as well. So, so far we're just going off with the nerfs. Umbreon. Okay, Umbreon. The following stats have been decreased. Defense and also special defense. Umbreon's wish, HP restoration, increase. Umbreon's foul play, effects on the opposing Pokemon strengthened. Duration of effects on Pokemon, opposing Pokemon increase. Damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increase. Umbreon's swift, fix bug, fix bug, sorry, that affects the following damage. So they have buffed Umbreon a bit in terms of wish and foul play. Okay, next we have is Machamp. The following stats have been increased defense. The following stats have been increased special defense. Machamp submission, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increase. So Machamp is getting a buff. Dang, I actually really like Machamp, so I'm happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> Snorlax's block. The move's movement speed decrease has been weakened. Shield effect have, has been strengthened. Okay, so Snorlax has got a bit of a... Hey, hold on. This move's movement speed decrease has been weakened. Oh, so it's Snorlax's buff. Hooper's trick. Shield effect strengthened. Duration of effect on the user increase. Aegis Slash Iron Head. Age Cooldown has been reduced. Ages slash Sacred Sword. Cooldown has been reduced. They have a lot of changes in this patch so far. Azumarill's Whirlpool. Cooldown has been reduced. Azumarill's Unite Move Valley Bash. There has been a move adjustment. Maybe we'll go briefly through the um, Japanese version because they do have more details on the changes and why they made that. Crustle, Unite, move Rubble Rouser. I didn't know it was called that. <laughs> Rubble Rouser. Bruiser? Move upgrades. Gyarados' Waterfall. The time needed for this move to activate has been shortened. Gyarados Aqua Tail, effects on the user weakened. Gyarados Bounce, opposing Pokemon hit by this move are now thrown and move icon adjusted. Trevenant's Horn Leech, gosh, look how many Pokemon have been changed. Fix bugs, oh, so this is the bug fixes. So we have a bunch of bug fixes on Trevenant, Maridon, and Zeraora. So, dang, Wild Charge Plus causing extra, I feel like Zeraora just gets bug so often. Maridon's Electro Drift causing extra effects to occur as well. Okay, so that is a 
quick summary of all of the buffs and nerfs, mostly nerfs, but we have the Japanese one as well that tells us a bit more. So for Zoroark, when choosing the central route, due to the amount of damage and recovery effect of um, I already forgot what the ability is, Night Slash, sorry, at level 5, the move that unilater unilaterally, I can't say that word, K unilaterally KO's Pokemon fighting in the upper and lower routes was just too powerful, therefore overall performance of Night Slash has been adjusted downward. So they think Night Slash was way too powerful, oh my gosh, for Buzzsaws. <laughs> Idiots. Idiot plus we're getting caught idiots. So due to the effect of eliminating the waiting time, so the, the moves that are being talked about here is superpower and smackdown. The interference effect and amount of damage of the combo that uses this ability again immediately after using this ability from this ability will be greater than expected. I was getting stronger. We've made adjustments so that in order to pull off a combo, you'll need to do something like fill up the muscle gauge with the normal attacks or involve several Pokemon with their ability. And we get some more details as well for this, so like the waiting time, um, the stages, so we get a bit more details here. Next we have is Mewtwo. The overall damage dealt was too high, so we adjusted the special attack downward. The instantaneous damage amount when combining the effect that increases teleport damage with the Unite move Infinity Psycho Burn was too high, so we have made some downward adjustments. And here again are some more actual numbers if you want to see. So I'll just leave it on the screen just briefly here if you want the big details of the numbers that they're doing. But I do like that they have, you know, explained why they do these changes. As it's really nice to have the summarized version, but I do like it when they write like this as well. So this one, oh, who is Kariki? Okay, so this is Machamp. They were often unable to withstand the opponent's attack and were KO'd, making surprise attacks the main option. We have made upward adjustments to his durability end so that he can take on more head-to-head -head battles. So they have focused on submission here and they also increase the defenses and everything like that as well. Next we have is Snorlax. The disadvantage of being restricted in attack and movement was not commensurate with the amount of shield that could be obtained through moves. So we have adjusted um, this move was block upwards and double attack the damage amount. <laughs> That's funny. Double attack. It's got stronger now. Sorry, I just find it cute. Snorlax is just so cute. This one is Aegis Slash, just from Iron Head. There were many scenes where I was stuck in shield form even though I was on the attack or I was in sword form and kept receiving attacks even though I was on the draw. The Iron Head and Sacred Sword have been adjusted upwards so they can be changed form quickly and the waiting times are here as well. So just decrease cooldowns for these abilities. Then we have Gyarados. So Waterfall, Aqua Tail and Bounce are the moves that have been changed, which had a low usage rate due to their special operation feel. They have been adjusted so that their movements are closer to their trainer's intentions. The effects of jumping have been adjusted to increase the exhilaration when the move hits. Here are the statistics, well, the stats and numbers that have been changed as well. Then we have is Hooper. We have adjusted Trick upwards, taking into consideration the data that shows that Trick is chosen less often than this ability. So they're increasing Trick because Trick is just not a popular ability and they want to make it more popular and more loved. Next we have is Umbreon. So since your ability was too noticeable even before evolution, the initial value of defense and special defense were adjusted downward. Wish has been adjusted upward so that it becomes one of the support type options for healing allies. At the same time, we have made upward adjustments to his cheat ability so that he can also play a defensive role by jumping into the opponent and here are the values once again. And then next we have is Azumarill. Since the amount of damage was insufficient compared to Aqua Tail and this ability, I just it's a lot of thinking for this was adjusted upward. We were seeing a lot of this ability of, sorry, of Azumarill dashing into wild Pokemon against the trainer's intentions. So we adjusted the Unite move so that it only targets Pokemon from the opponent's team. Okay, so now it only targets that. Okay, so and here are the times as well. Next we have is Crossel. The disadvantages of the Unite move Shattered Stone Whirlpool was that it would be interrupted if it received a disturbance effect while in use, which did not go well with the char characteristics of this move which becomes more powerful when attacked in the middle of enemy territory. Adjust it so that it can be used reliably even when close to the enemy. 
The Unite move now gains interference immunity while using this move. Next we have is Espeon. The amount of damage was too high for a safe and guaranteed move, so we adjusted the assist power downward. Assist power damage, amount 10% reduction. Next we have is Meow Scrada. Regardless of the attack choice, it was dealing more damage than other speed type Pokemon, so we adjusted its attack to reduce its overall damage. And last we have is Aldegoss. Adjustments were made because the slowing effect of the enhanced attack was too high and scenes where one-sided attacks were too powerful. The Unite move and these moves have been adjusted as they were dealing high damage, even though their main purpose was to protect allies. They're getting rid of Aldegoss? No! <sighs> okay, well, these are also the fixed issues as well that were for the Pokemon Zero Aura, uh, Maridon, and Trevenant. Um, these are the patch notes. Super sorry if I couldn't go into more detail like I usually do with the other patch notes, but I'm still recovering. If you've watched my last video, still recovering from my cold. I sound so much better, but I'm just now very drowsy and it's just been a very rough week in terms of the sick department. <laughs> but yeah, I hope this was informative enough just to give you an idea of how the patch is going. Thank you so much for watching trainers and I hope to catch you for the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the bell to be notified. I have so many cool videos coming up too. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!